okay so first of all uh, today should be the last class for this session so another class i mean the starting from the new should be started from tomorrow onwards so i mean uh, just a quick recap and the overview of the concept once more time uh, for this course what we have covered and uh, if there is any feedback or what more needs to be added from your side please suggest the thing over here so that in next class we should have at least something uh, if it's not possible for the entire set just to add uh, the, the particular thing so that the thing is understandable for you to start off from any other thing or how that can be helpful and all so before that i just want to conclude the thing by uh, the particular exercise that i have provided earlier uh, for python so it was, I mean, uh, the particular exercise is on the screen over here. So I have uh, given this exercise maybe on last uh, last Friday or last Thursday, what I can uh, uh, think about. So that is basically a particular CSV file, a particular XLS file is there. Okay. So we need to import the XLS file, each of the sheet to be converted, each of the data frame. Okay. So data frame needs to be created at python by pandas okay when the data frame is created then uh, between the data frames we have some common columns so by using those common columns we have to join the database data frames and we need to pick particular i mean certain columns over there so when our final data frame is ready you have to write the same data frame on our external database that is i mean we are using over here mysql database okay so this is the entire concept over here i just want to i mean we already covered this thing in our chapters just everything should be there just a quick recap on python and how to use python as a etl tool we are uh, getting data from external csv file we are collecting those information in data frames and we are, we are doing some required operation by using data frames over there and when our final data frame is ready write the data frame in mysql database so this is the entire uh, thing we just need to cover up okay any doubt from anyone if there is any stuck point or anything please feel free to ask me so let me open that excel excel is there in this excel we, we are having three sheet customer outlet and product okay each of the sheet should be creating each data frame we will be calling this thing we will be importing this excel file let's do that so customer outlet and product those are the three things all the three things are dimension over here we already learned what is dimension and all so customer is a dimension should be having customer related information apart from that we have product id and outlet code those are two foreign keys of these two table. In outlet sheet, outlet code is the primary key. And the outlet name or branch name, this kind of stuff I have written over there. In product, product ID, this is the primary key for product table, as well as product name is there. Okay. So, customer table, outlet table, and product table. Okay, so I have to create the data frames based on each of the three subject areas. Those three sheets should be mapped to each of the data frame. Then in the second topic, I need to create the data frame having only the fields, customer name, purchase date, outlet branch name, and product name. Those four columns should be there. So let's check up these four columns. Let me just highlight this thing that those are the columns customer name purchase date should be there branch name should be there and product name should be there those are the i mean we need to create the final data frame should be having those four columns how to create that when the data frames are ready we can you we can use those foreign key to have a join condition or join just have the scenario of joining maybe inner join over these cases no issue so customer and outlet will be joining these two data frame by using outlet code okay by using this outlet code 
here the column name is outlet underscore cod code and over here the reference column is outlet underscore cd okay and when this join is ready then this intermediate data frame i'll be joining again with product data frame with helping with the help of product id this is the primary column okay so the joining product id i'll be calling product name fine so this is the thing when our final data frame is ready i just have to write our data frame to mysql database as a tabular format okay so this is the entire concept let's go ahead with that stuff uh, any uh, any doubt from anyone till now any doubt okay let's go ahead it's a quick recap of python especially pandas what we have covered at the uh, the sessions uh, for pandas and all so on top of python we can quickly cover up okay let's create each of the data frame first so the particular excel is being stored in some of our drives this is the drive i have put over the thing over here so i'll be calling this excel along with each of the sheet to create the data frame i already put it over there so uh, okay customer let me put customer at the beginning as per the xls okay i'll be creating customer dfc okay dfc is for customer just i'm calling this particular stuffs over here okay uh, the sheet name should be customer customer that's why it's customer this is the process i mean the particular method is pd dot read cs uh, read excel earlier we used to do read csv it was a csv file comma separated uh, delimiter so it was earlier csv file now we are i mean in the exercise i have given you an excel file to read the data so this is an excel file the method is just like same just like csv it's, it should be excel so pandas pd dot read cs read excel then put the entire path where you have put the excel file okay particular sheet name which sheet the particular thing is having okay so i'm calling dfc for customer sheet dfo for outlet sheet and dfp for product sheet let me print the entire stuff over here just to ensure whether everything is running fine or not okay let's check if the data is fine or not okay outlet outlet has been printed first so let me just quickly just the order is different so this is the outlet code as per the excel this is the name as per the excel i mean uh, the customer uh, table over here as per the excel and this is the product id and customer name as per the excel sheet okay it's fine product table customer table and outlet table outlet data frame rather we can say not table over here okay so now let's have a join between our customer and outlet customer and outlet based on outlet code okay let's go ahead with doing that stuffs so uh, let me just create data frame df1 equal okay joining between customer table and outlet table so what is the thing pd dot merge okay call these two data frame dfc comma okay merge is for joining syntax i think you are all aware we have already done it 
DFO. Okay, so I'm calling this to DFC is a customer data frame. DFO is the outlet data frame. Comma. Then uh, what we have to do? We have to do uh, the common column based on which we'll be joining the two data frame. So the first data frame, the customer, I'll be joining with outlet code. So uh, left on outlet code right on outlet cd this is the primary key for the outlet code just cd and code this is the only difference okay and anything more okay we'll be doing inner join so no, nothing to pass for how by default if we just pass in this manner it should be inner join okay let me pass i mean let me just frame the data df1 let me don't print dfp as of now Just comment it out. Okay. Yeah, as of now, we have name, purchase date, and branch name in a single particular data frame. Okay. Now, just let me uh, join the third one that is product table dfp with this intermediate table i mean intermediate data frame df1 and this dfp the similar way i can do that so that should be df2 i'm declaring this is df2 data frame equal pd dot merge i'll be joining with df1 along with mm -hmm. DFP left on what is the column name over here it's product ID okay it's same product ID product ID so we can do one thing uh, product ID is it's nothing uh, okay let me check from X I mean over here whatever I have put product ID yeah it's same so do not put left on as of now as the column name is same we can directly put on okay if the column name is different over here we are using same naming convention for two columns okay so uh, i mean we can do either way we can put left on right on no issue as the i mean the common column name is same that's why we can simply pass on no need to put left on right on Instead of that, I'm putting directly on because you have common column name. Product ID. Okay. Now print DF2. If there is any doubt, any stuck point, please do ask me. Okay. Some issue? What is the issue? uh okay product id some issue is there let me just print product id whether i have checked it properly or not whether the product naming convention is same whether i have okay let me just i'm assuming some mistake is there with the product id naming convention yes uh there is an issue this excel uh is not the same excel i'm pointing to there at multiple excels okay fine no issue so we can see it's uh it's lowercase product id okay from customer table so even it should be same as df1 the intermediate data frame but over here in the product table p is in caps 
So you have to use left on, right on. Did you understand the topic? Okay, I just need to omit this hash. Okay, there is a bit different of naming convention, whatever I have put earlier. So I'm just updating the same. I'm printing entire stuff somewhere here. Yes, so we have name the, the particular columns is not been shown with the particular console they are showing only. I mean, just dot 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 is there not to represent the entire stuffs, entire column set. They are only passing these columns. Okay, so uh, let me have the output. Okay, now I need to choose the particular column, just like customer ID is not required. The primary keys are no more required. We have already joined it. So we just required the particular column name, what I have mentioned earlier. Uh, it's customer name, purchase date, outlet branch name and product name. So let me print in the same manner. Uh, just like I'll be slicing the part. Okay, so df underscore final equal df to i'll be slicing whatever app i i just required so name should be there then uh, what are the other things purchase date purchase date be careful whether we are not doing any missing of uppercase and lowercase okay branch name Okay, and the last one is product name. Product name, it's P is in caps. Okay, the entire thing should be declared in a list. Okay, fine. If I just going to print final, I mean, the final, whether it's fine or not, let's quickly check it. And rather, I can comment it out over here. Okay, so this is our final data set, which is ready. I have customer name, particular purchase date, which branch or which outlet branch they have purchased it and particular product name. It's present over here. Fine. Now I need to insert this data frame into that external database. That is our MySQL database over here. So let me open MySQL database quickly. Just to set up the connection from here and check everything is fine. Okay. Yes, it's fine. We have this kind of stuff over here. So let's create the same data frame, I mean, push the same data frame, DA final into our table, one of the table. So I, we have imported SQL Alchemy for that we, we learned that we can use this kind of library to set up connection uh, with MySQL database. So just I'm calling the same engine over here. This is a connection engine, create engine. We have already learned it. So I'm just trying to set up a connection with MySQL database. Okay, with the source, I mean, username, password, 
this is the server that is localhost port and the particular database step that is data data training over here okay now let me just write the df final that data frame to this database equal to pd dot uh, to sql okay. anything is wrong do not have to put pd over here direct i can call this method on top of our data frame to sql okay so over there i can mention the table name uh, the same kind of stuff so i can read right over there df final so the table name should be created with this naming convention okay and particular engine connection engine i can pass which is having the same name convention same naming convention e engine not over here this should be our second parameter okay and what there the database name should be there okay and let's print it out uh, not okay sorry uh, i already printed it out so if i just execute the same thing the part the particular data frame should be created inside our mysql over here let's run it and check it whether the table has been created and the data is fine over there so we are doing an operation okay the process has, has been finished let's check let me refresh the data face over here yes df final has been created let me just quickly reconnect the database sometime when i'm selecting this thing it's a bug over here okay so it's present let me just put a select query select star from df underscore final yes so the final data set i mean data frame what we have i mean manipulated we have done lots of things lots of operation we have faced the thing we have done the join operation everything is been pushed over here as a tabular format okay so that now python is working as a etl tool it's transferring data from one method to from csv from excel to data frame just this is the example and i mean in practical scenario in our project purpose we will be using as a data engineer python can be used in this format but not in the same i mean similar way it should be a bit complex there there should be lots of source files not only tools and all lots of i mean uh, operations should be performed over there as well as uh, it's a, it should be a bit complex and that should be framework driven it's a miniature of the same thing same etl whatever we have to do in our project okay so it's done any doubt from anyone any doubt okay uh, just one more thing okay we have covered this exercise and uh, by the same we have covered this course whatever we have i mean what was in the plan to cover for this crash course uh, again the similar kind of courses should be started from tomorrow onwards uh, with the same topics and all maybe something uh, some more features needs to be included especially the cloud uh, cloud computing part over there so and the other courses i mean the sql python those should be same as per whatever we have covered uh, so whatever we have learned till now just a quick recap that we have learned sql i mean what is data how the data is been used what is the importance of no sql databases as well but as we have to do the data manipulation we, we have chosen the sql side that means the relational database and the sql is the i mean uh, that particular language the query language by which we can manipulate the data over there after that after learning of the sql we have learned why the entire setup is required as a data engineer 
So there we have learned the business intelligence, how to create the fact and dimension, the data modeling. So it's a meaningful data from the OLTP data to conversion of OLTP data to meaningful data and store the same in data warehouse and data mart. And on top of data mart or data warehouse, the visualization team can create their graphs and charts and the same to be presented in front of the business owner. They can take the easy decisions or the business strategy which should be reflected in next day's uh, decisions or next day's, uh, I mean, whatever the revenue or outcome should be there, it should be, the particular decision can be uh, checked or visualized over there. Okay. So, till now, that is, uh, I mean, uh, business intelligence is done. After that, we have, you, we have learned Python at a, as a basics for few days after that, we have learned Pandas to work uh, to work python as a data analyst tool over there so we learned python and we learned python as a etl tool as well how to load the data from i mean between different database and all so after that we have covered uh, a basic thing a very basic on cloud computing part especially we have taken aws over here uh, to check how it should be working how it should work on top of AWS consoles, okay? And some basic ideas on top of Hadoop as well as the Git. So those kind of stuff we have covered till now. If there is any doubt, you can quickly ask me over here. Otherwise, let's connect tomorrow from the beginning of the session over there. Any doubt from anyone till now? Nothing? Okay, fine then. Uh, let's connect tomorrow. Uh, maybe some new students should be coming again. So if you have any doubt, you can also join the classes. Okay. Okay, then that's all as of now. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.